Next chapter, church. I heard a story recently, uh, was very, very interesting and made me pause and think uh, there was a pastor, I guess he went on a mission trip and was talking to uh, an Indian chief of this tribe. And he was talking about how life used to be. He said they used to be a really close, tight-knit community. They would go hunting together. They would come back, prepare their food together. Um, they would eat together, make sure everyone had food to eat. And he said, and then one day things began to slowly change. He said, um, one, one family got this box that they could refrigerate meat in. And so as they would go and hunt, they would bring back meat, but they would store just a little bit extra away in their little refrigerated box um, so that they could have it later for their family. Well, word kind of got out about this. And so some other families started buying this little refrigerated box to store some of their meat and to have leftovers for later for their family. Well, slowly but surely, um, as the community did that and they all got these refrigerated boxes, the closeness of the community was gone. They didn't go hunting as much together. They didn't come back and prepare the food together. Um, they didn't make sure everyone had food together. And the chief said, uh, when the pastor said, well, what, what did they call that box? He said, we called that box the stingy box. That was the word for the refrigeration system. And that really spoke to me because I thought, man, as a follower of Jesus, I don't ever want to be stingy with possessions that God has given me. And so it's that time of year, even though this has been a unique year to say the least, it's that time of year where we just come on and we invite you to uh, give to end of the year giving for our, our budget, our financial year budget. Um, I'm, glad to know, I'm glad to let you know, in spite of this, this crazy year, uh, we are only uh, less than $23,000 under budget, which does seem like a lot, but it could have been a lot worse considering this year of COVID. So thank you for your continued financial giving. Just wanna come on here to say, if you're looking for uh, an organization or a charity to give to. Um, consider next chapter a place that you can give an end of the year financial gift to. If the, if the next chapter has impacted you in some way, we invite you to give. Um, if you feel led to give over and above your normal giving, we would invite you to do that as well if next chapter has impacted you. The good news is this, we haven't spent as much as we anticipated spending because of a lot of the shutdown and, and not being able to do a lot. Uh, we did get a PPP loan from the government. And so with that loan, we're actually about $7,000 to the good right now. So even though we're behind budget, we're actually in the, in the good standing. But we always want to just encourage folks, if you feel the need to give, we would love for you to give. And I, I really do look forward to what God is doing in the days ahead. I really believe that as a year that we've gone through, um, God is up to something. I don't think all of this is for naught. I think God is up to something and I wanna be a part of what God is up to. And I know that that takes money in the days to come. I'm really looking forward and been praying. The leadership the team has been praying. Um, I'm really sensing maybe getting a new building for ourselves at some point. I would love to see it happen sooner than later. So, I'll, you know, monies can go towards that. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can do ministry more together, even in some creative ways in the new year. But more than anything, I'm looking forward to seeing life change continue to happen in people's lives. So join me as we continue to, to love God, love people, and bless this world because the greater days are yet to, to come for the next chapter of church. Love you, church.